No, we, so, you know, so we saw his mouse at the uh, the trial run right? yeah. yesterday. So yeah. it's just fantastically fast. Uh -huh. and, and we had we, we saw him in uh, Taiwan uh -huh. this in September, uh -huh. and so he had the prototype for it, but we didn't see the final one. So, mm -hmm. you know, that was also amazingly fast. Uh, you know, what did fast. what did he do to achieve the fantastic speed? Well, I mean, there's a lot of talk about all of that, right? Okay. But he has a sort of a four-wheel system yeah. that has, uh, you know, two drive wheels on either side. Uh -huh. And it, at first, everybody feels that it's going to slip a lot uh -huh. because it's sort of like a tank when you're trying to turn. And so the question yeah. is, you know, how does it actually work so well? Everybody would understand that on a straightaway, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. But on a turn, it should give it up. Right. Yeah. But Ben Kiat had this vision in the middle of the night. He had this dream, and he comes in in the morning. And he says, "I woke up with this cold sweat, and I realized that the weight is centered over the front set of wheels, yeah. and it doesn't. There's not much weight on the rear. This is what he thinks." Uh -huh. yeah. so when That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, so it really behaves like a two-wheel when you're turning because there's okay. not much weight on the extra uh -huh. wheels. And then when it accelerates, the weight transfers onto the back wheel, which is good. Uh -huh. Whereas a normal two-wheel drive miles would have a skid on the back uh -huh. and it doesn't help you. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only other question is, what about braking? And because the weight uh -huh. is neutral, when it breaks, it goes down in the front, right? So there's a skid in the front, but the skid is usually something slippery. Uh -huh. So it wouldn't break as well as tires, right? Yeah. And so yeah. the question is, how does it actually stop well? Uh -huh. and we don't think we understand that. Okay, well, you can figure that out. But, uh, figure but that. you know, at least with braking, you have sort of losses on your side. And so at least that's helpful. And, and maybe it doesn't slow down real well. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Yeah. He claims it does. He does? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked him that too. He uh -huh. says it breaks just as well as it accelerates. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Huh. But he, you know, the center of gravity is unbelievably low, huh. and I think that's a lot of it. Helps it's, a lot. It, it helps, yeah. So there isn't that much transfer because it just isn't that high. Yeah. Uh, so. so he was inspired by Tokyo Drift, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it sounds like that from your I, description. I think, I think that there were a lot of line followers that come out of Korea that have the same drive uh -huh. configuration, uh -huh. and, and I think that's where he got the original idea. I'm gonna make it up. I never talked about it. So I don't really know. It was, yeah. So that was that was really wonderful, you know. And, that, and he was so good. And then and then I didn't think that Bang would actually be competitive, right? Uh -huh. But he was. You know, he, he didn't quite get the same time in the trial. Uh -huh. But it, but he was right there. You know, uh -huh. it was a couple tenths. Sure. And and, and completely alone with uh -huh. everybody else, right? So. Yeah, so really it was really neat. Yeah. It was fun. Super. Anything else uh, really stick out in your mind? Uh, I don't think so. I can't think of anything else. Okay. You are a nerd. Uh, of course uh, I'm a nerd. Yeah. <laughs>